Hey, want to see fuel gauging done the easy way with Model Gauge M5EZ on the MAX 17261 EV kit? Stay tuned and we'll show you. Welcome to Design Shop. I'm Jason Wortham, a battery product definer for battery chips here at Maxim. Today we're going to be showing you the MAX 17261 EV kit, how easy it is to get started and what it can do. So the board here is the MAX 17261 EV kit. Uh, the chips there in the middle is very small, little WLP package. This particular chip out of the family, the family being MAX 17260 through 263, uh, the 261 has the multi-cell feature. So you can put two series, three series, four series. You can actually do very high voltage batteries with the right external components, over 100 volts perhaps. Um, this EV kit is, is prepared for doing two series, three, four, five, or I'm sorry, two, three, four, six, or eight series, depending on how you position the jumper. So we position the jumper in the two series position. You could modify the, the board to go beyond eight series, but we figure that's going to reach most uh, applications of interest. Uh, there's a simple little regulator using a 2N7001 on here. And, uh, to, to bring down the voltage for the, the chip. And there's also a resistor divider into a high impedance pin where we measure the battery voltage accurately for fuel gauging. So here you have the schematic of the application circuit. Uh, you basically set up a resistor divider uh, which only consumes a, a few microamps. Only a few microamps is necessary to bias that pin. It's a low leakage pin. And uh, the regulator here does not have to be anything very expensive. I understand you can get 2 in 7,000 to FETs, uh, the old legacy classic FET, for underneath a, a penny, I believe. Um, so that's the schematic. Uh, now you can fuel gauge high series cells. You can either do it on the host side, which is drawn here on the left, or you can do it in the pack side. So you can actually put the chip inside the battery's board or outside. Either way, it, we're agnostic. Our chip works either way. So this simplicity of configuration involved in this kit is brought to you by Model Gauge M5EZ. The EZ algorithm has been tested across 300 batteries under 3,000 different discharge cases and uh, we have a histogram summary of the performance of all of those cases and 97 percent of the batteries had less than 3 percent error. These are all different batteries. They're, there's a diverse set. It's, uh, they're not cherry-picked for sure and generally the, the generalization is you're generally going to see better than 3 percent error without configuration, or without characterization. So it's a blind performance because of the adaptive mechanisms in the chip. Um, this does not cover cold temperatures and heavy loads, uh, but, and special chemistries like lithium iron phosphate. But otherwise, it covers most applications and it delivers, delivers you an easy plug and play fuel gauging experience. So from there, I'm gonna show you the EV kit and we're gonna get started. This is the EV kit GUI for the MAX 17261. It shows all the various analog information, the voltage, the current, the temperature, uh, other things like filtered voltage, filtered current, and a, even an open circuit voltage, which is a prediction from the fuel gauge. And then on the left, you have the, the, you know, the critical things that a fuel gauge delivers, which is battery percent and the full capacity and the, uh, the remaining capacity as well. However, this has not been set up yet, so I'm going to show you how to set it up for your battery using the EZ system. So you go up here to device, you go to change battery, and uh, you're going to check this use default IC settings, EZ. So EZ is a way to deliver performance without the standard burden of battery characterization. Uh, traditionally, in order to get performance out of a fuel gauge, you have to have a deep knowledge of the battery, which only comes from characterization. However, EZ has, uh, by, supported by the robust algorithm of model gauge M5, handles all the various diversity issues uh, battery diversity as well as application diversity. So all you need to set up to make EZ run is you have to tell it the, the full capacity and the empty voltage and the charge termination. That's, that's basically the key ingredient. So I'm going to put 2500 is what's written on the battery. I don't have to characterize that. Just look for what's written on the battery. And the empty voltage, typically people target 3.3 or 3.4. This is really dependent on your application, not dependent on the battery. What is going to be your the voltage below which your, your system is going to shut down. So this is on a per cell basis because this in multi-cell configuration it still delivers the registers on a per cell basis. So when it says voltage and you have two series you need to multiply that by two to understand the total voltage. 
Uh, and then the charge termination current uh, is shown here. So maybe if I have 2500 milliamp hour battery, I mean, just say what you plan to be doing when you charge it. Maybe I terminate at 500, uh, 250 milliamps. And then if this is a kind of battery that charges, say, 4.3 or 4.35 volts or anything higher than this 4.275, you'll check the box. If it's uh, common chemistry that, you know, charges at 4.2 volts, don't check the box and it'll compensate the model accordingly. And so that's basically it. Uh, it's going to put the information in the chip and, and it's prepared to go. So I say save profile and update IC. Percentage may change, full capacity will change. So the percentage just jumped to 7.1%. Uh, the full capacity is 2,500 milliamp hours. It looks like the battery is kind of empty. It's got a, a relaxed voltage of about 3.6 volts. So that is a pretty empty state. Um, you get all the key elements here. This is really perhaps where you're going to be doing most of your interaction with this GUI. There's also graphs available that show you the voltage and current and temperature in time. And you can dive in on a, a whole host of registers. There's far too many registers in this part, most of which you don't need to pay attention to. You can really keep it simple and things are going to work out. Um, and then on the configuration tab, there's a few other features, most especially there's this data log, uh, like a spreadsheet, automatically generated, started when you open the EVKit GUI. So if you see any funny behaviors or want to rewind history and see what happened and how did it get to the, the condition that it's in, you can open up Excel and see that file. Um, or you can create a new file if you want to start it over. And then here's the change battery. That's the same as the menu option for, for setting up EZ. So, there's not a lot more to it. Uh, the Model Gauge M5 Easy Algorithm is a very complex algorithm, but using it is simple because it takes, it, it takes the complexity inside and it, it gives you robustness against the various diversity problems that always plague fuel gauging. So that's what I have to show for you today. If you want more details, please go to www.maximintegrated.com slash max17261. Thank you for your time.